Paula. My name is Trish Kudrich, and I'm from Westlake, Ohio, a suburb of Cleveland. And I've been cooking since I was old enough to stand on a chair and help my mother and grandmother. And desserts have always been one of my favorite things to make. Today, I'm going to share with you my triple cream strawberry cake. Why is it called triple cream? Well, Philadelphia cream cheese is in it three times. We're going to put original Philadelphia cream cheese in the cake mix. Strawberry Philadelphia cream cheese in the filling. And original Philadelphia cream cheese in the frosting. I start off with a basic white cake mix, but I add a little bit of a twist by adding four ounces of Philadelphia cream cheese to that cake mix. I whip that first with the eggs, then I add the dry ingredients and finish off with the wet ingredients and put it in a springform pan that is lined with parchment. I bake it for 35 to 40 minutes at 350. And this is just about cooled, so we're going to go ahead and remove that, and you can see what a beautiful cake we have. I'm going to let that cake finish cooling, and while I do, we're going to put together our fabulous strawberry filling. We're going to start off with 8 ounces of heavy, very cold whipping cream. We're going to pour that right in here. Take that in there. And we're going to start to let that whisk just a few seconds. It's going to start to thicken up just a little bit, and then we're going to add our strawberry Philadelphia cream cheese filling to that. And that is going to make that the most wonderful, rich, decadent filling. That along with our fresh sliced strawberries. So I'm going to go ahead and mix this up, and I'll be back in a second. We've whipped the whipping cream until it is not totally stiff, but heavy enough that it will hold a peak and that's what you want to get that to and it's about a minute thank you for getting in there now we're going to take our strawberry philadelphia cream cheese and we are going to just put that right in there and we're going to finish whisking that up to make our strawberry filling so that look at the consistency of that filling it is beautiful and you want something like this because it's nice and thick and creamy. And when you go to spread this on the cake, it's going to spread beautifully. Well, we've made our strawberry cream cheese filling. And it's so light and pink and fluffy. And it tastes so good, just like fresh strawberries. And next, we're going to make our original Philadelphia cream cheese frosting. And this is a frosting I make for everything. Cupcakes, cakes, fillings. People love this frosting with, of course, Philadelphia Original Cream Cheese. And I have eight ounces or one package here that I have softened. And I'm going to go ahead and put that into my mixing bowl. And you want to get every bit of that wonderful goodness. Next, we are going to use our softened butter. And I have one and a half sticks of softened, unsalted butter. And ladies, use real butter. Don't use margarine or... Tastes like butter, use real butter for this recipe. All right, we're gonna go ahead and you want a paddle on your mixer, not your whisk because you wanna mix these and blend them thoroughly together. We are also using in this recipe one pound of powdered sugar. However, I use the powdered sugar, I add it one half cup at a time because you want a nice, rich, thick frosting, but you don't want it powdery, sugar sweet. You want it Philadelphia cream cheese flavor. So we're whipping up our cream cheese and our butter, and I have it on a medium low. In the meantime, I'm going to add my vanilla, and there's another key ingredient. Use real vanilla. The fresher, the more natural the ingredients, the better your end product. So we're going to go ahead and I have this marked to one and a half teaspoons and I'm gonna go ahead and measure that in and get that. What also this is gonna do by adding your vanilla right now is it's gonna to help to cream your Philadelphia cream cheese and your butter to get it to that nice creamy consistency. So we have our vanilla, we have our cream cheese and I'm gonna turn this up just for a second. There we go. I'm going to turn that off. 
but I want you to see the consistency of my butter and my cream cheese. Now I'm going to add my powdered sugar one half cup at a time and when I'm done I'm going to have a beautiful rich creamy frosting that's going to complement our strawberry cream cake. So I'm going to go ahead and finish mixing this and then we're going to put our cake together. Well, we have finished our cream cheese frosting, our Philadelphia cream cheese frosting. And look at how nice and thick and creamy that is. Now we're going to assemble our cake. So the first thing we want to do is we want to tort or cut our cake in half. And I have a serrated knife and I'm just going to go right through and cut my cake. And ladies, don't worry if it's not perfectly even all the way across because we're going to fill this with that wonderful cream cheese strawberry filling and strawberries there we go now i love the plastic cutting boards because i can lift my cake up and i can slide that top right over and move that little piece of cake came off but that's okay now we're going to take that wonderful strawberry cream filling it's going to go right on top here Our spatula we want to get as much of that as we can Right inside, we are going to go ahead and smooth that all the way around. Now, we're going to take our strawberries, and we're just going to put them on top of that wonderful filling, that Philadelphia strawberry cream cheese filling. That's what's so great about the Philadelphia cream cheeses. There's so many different flavors, and I've really experimented with quite a few. And this has just made making my strawberry dessert so much easier than pureeing strawberries. Now I just use this and I'm ready to go. All right, now we're gonna top our cake. There we go. Next, we're gonna add our frosting and finish decorating. Let's get this on. You're just gonna put that on like that. And we're gonna decorate and frost this cake. Don't have to worry about it being all perfectly smooth. We want it nice and creamy. Well, we have finished frosting our cake and putting our strawberries on. Now, isn't this beautiful? Don't you want to just dive right into that? I know I do. But we have one finishing touch, and that is our final strawberry in the middle. Now, I want to show you this cute little tool. It's called a shark, and I love it because I can just core my strawberry out. I'm going to take my little mint leaf and put it right here in the middle. And I'm going to put my strawberry, and voila, we have a strawberry cream cake. But the best part is right now, we're going to cut into this cake. So I'm going to cut a piece right here. Now I can't take a great big piece because it's my sister's birthday. And I'm sending this cake over to her when we're done here today. So, but I told her I was taking a bite. And she said that was just fine. Whoops. There we go. Okay. Look at those strawberries and that pink cream. Mmm. Well, it's a heavenly cake on a heavenly dessert plate. And it's time to taste. Mmm. Heavenly. Paula, bring me to Savannah so I can share this recipe and so many more with you. Thank you.